Hi Aries and Aries Rising, here's your horoscope for August 2024. I'm astrologer Joseph Anthony. All right, buckle up because we are in for one hell of a ride in the month of August. And I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm not trying to be fear mongering. We have a lot of heavy alignments coming in this month. So we're going to start off the month you know, in a positive way, because the sun is going through Leo, Mercury's going through Leo, but that's all going to change as the month unfolds, especially around the 19th and the full moon. There is so much energy this month that this is such a wild card month. So it'll be like everything hitting us all at once. So let's see how it plays itself out. Now, again, this reading is for anyone who has a sun sign in um, in Aries or a rising sign in Aries or an ascendant in Aries. This is a general sun sign reading, Western astrology. Okay, so, um, you know, a lot of people still ask me uh, whether this is Western or Vedic. So I'm just putting that up front. Anyway, so I wanna dive in uh, to give you, an, uh, give you a heads up of what's coming. And prepare yourself because this is going to be unlike any other month we've experienced the energy is going to be very volatile and it's going to be very strong it's going to be very heavy there could be events uh externally that are affecting us you know like government economics uh you know something in the sky strange weather anomalies we got all of it coming in and this month so let's get started and uh you know and i'll show you what is going on so as we start off the month here we have, uh, I'm looking here, we have the Sun, we have Mer and, and Venus going through uh, Leo. Venus is going to change signs. Mercury is going to go retrograde. And we have this Mercury, uh, excuse me, this Jupiter and Mars conjunction happening. But we also have some outer planets also interacting. We see Saturn and, and Jupiter will be interacting. Uh, we're going to see Uranus in the mix during the full moon on the 19th. So we've got a lot of vol volatility that's being indicated just at the beginning of the month. But as we start off the month, we have this positive new moon in Leo right here. And this is going to be at 12 degrees. So this is going to be uh, right here in the fifth house of love, creativity, children. And so what this suggests is wanting to go in a new direction, uh, spending time with your kids, working on creative endeavors, having more fun, then that's all well and good. OK, we have some, um, you know, we have a positive we have positive alignments to this new moon. So there's really not a whole lot going on here. So it's 12 degrees. It's uh, making a sextile to Mars. It's making a favorable alignment to Jupiter. So it's nothing uh, too worrisome. OK, so we start off the month. OK, nothing, nothing to be overly concerned about. And so we need to pay attention wherever that, you know, new moon is in your chart. You want to pay attention to that. And also speaking of the new moon, I also um, have just uh, put together a, a free uh, moon report for you guys. And you can see it right here. I left the link down below in the description. If you're interested, click on the link and uh, check it out for yourself. OK, but this new moon is adventurous it's creative it you know it, it wants action because it's airy you know aries and leo are both fire signs so this is a very energetic new moon that's going to propel you forward but also on the fifth uh really the late late night in the fourth into the fifth venus enters virgo so now venus has switched signs and is basically uh in going into the sixth house which suggests something to do with responsibilities work health diet uh you know analyzing every little detail of your relationship this is going to be the theme here and if you notice right next to it mercury is also in virgo and it's in stationary position which i'm going to talk about right now so we have both of these planets now mercury is going to go into retrograde mode on the fifth all the way till the end of the month till about the 28th so now we have venus that's retrograding back and and venus is moving forward and mercury is moving backwards and so this is something to do with the relationship, something to do with financial matters, something to do with your daily responsibilities, health, uh, could have something to do with a pet if you have pets. But there will be this strong analytical energy in the air. Like, what am I doing with my life? Am I happy with my life? Because Virgo is the sign of the perfectionist. And so there's always this overanalyzing going on. There could be some confusion in the mix because Venus will also be in conjuncting Pluto right up here. So not sure about direction, 
and uh, work-related matters. There's a lot of confusion in, the, in this uh, alignment with this conjunction going on right here with Mercury going retrograde. And by the way, Mercury will backtrack into Leo again, into the fifth house. So something is going to be revisited this month that you need to pay attention to or take care of. Okay, so we have that going on. Now, as we fast forward to the 14th, Mars conjuncts Jupiter and Gemini right there at 16 degrees. Now, this is a tough alignment because uh, it's in Gemini, the mind of uh, the uh, sign of communication. So there's all kinds of mental activity, need for conversing, uh, sharing your ideas, uh, expressing yourself on some way, overthinking, sleepless nights, whatever it is, or the need to travel and explore or, or you know, move around. Now, I want you to notice something. In astrology, when we have uh, squares and oppositions or a T-square or a grand cross like we are, are looking at right now, this causes a lot of tension. So if you notice, this is 16 degrees. It is now squaring Saturn at 17 degrees. It is now opposing the transit, transiting moon at about 15 degrees. And we have Venus also loosely squaring this alignment as well. So now we're witnessing some sort of event or major news or something in our lives that has really got our attention. And there's going to be a lot of communication around this. Okay. And so it could have something to do with the government. It could have something to do with your personal life, like your neighbors or your family members or your siblings or, you know, whatever you have going on in your personal life. This is all going to be... Uh, center stage for many of you okay because mars is involved mars is your ruler and it's conjunct jupiter so you might be filled with all kinds of ideas as well like you know like you can't shut your mind down it's like oh my god i i, I could see this and i gotta do this and i've got to do that and so you're overwhelmed with everything going on so this is going to be something to really pay attention to as i said uh, this month is going to unfold into very heavy strange weird energy Okay, so the next alignment we have on the following day, Mercury backtracks into Leo. Okay, so now we see it back into Leo and it's getting closer to the sun. So some, something creative is coming out of all this. Something from the past is resurfacing again. But as soon as Mercury comes back into Leo, it's making a, an alignment to Neptune right there at 29 degrees. The transiting moon at 28 degrees. And it's also squaring Uranus at 27 degrees. And this means a lot of confusion. This means a lot of change. This means a, a need to revisit something to uh, fix it or analyze it or take care of it in some way. This could be related to your kids. It could be related to a project, a loved one. And so there's a lot of volatility here. It could have something to do with finances as well because Uranus is in Taurus, the sign of money. So we're seeing a lot of volatile energy coming in over here. So please don't take this personally. It's affecting everyone. All right. So let's continue. On the 19th is where the real chaos starts because it probably already started the middle of the month, but it really peaks on the 19th with this full moon in Aquarius. And here's the full moon. It's going to be at 27 degrees of Aquarius, wherever that is in your birth chart. It's going to be opposing the sun at 27. And, and it's also Mercury retrograde is attached to the sun. So we got an element of confusion in the mix that is really heightened here. And also it is squaring exactly Uranus at 27 degrees. Do you see that? That's a T-square that's going on. This causes tension, frustration, irritation, uh, you know, a lot of confusion. And that's just the full moon, okay? So that's just one aspect. Let's continue because there's more. Venus will also square Jupiter. Here's Venus at 17 degrees, squaring Jupiter at 17 degrees, causing more confusion, opposing your, uh, uh, Saturn at 17 degrees. Do you see another T-square here? So we have two T-squares building up right here along this full moon. This is a lot of chaotic energy. It's a lot of pressure. So either something's going on in society at this mo at this point, or something in your life is you know is off the rails, and so there's a lot of pressure being put on you. But wait, there's more. We also have Jupiter squaring Saturn. Jupiter is squaring Saturn. is huge in astrology. So not only do we have that giant T square, this is emphasizing Jupiter and Saturn, which are the two largest planets in our galaxy. So this is suggesting some heavy, heavy responsibility, major change that needs to take place 
And again, I think it might be societal. So I'm doing this video at the end, you know, in the middle of July sometime. So, uh, but I'm, you know, most of us astrologers are looking at this, scratching our heads going, oh my goodness, what kind of energy do we have coming in here? And so we're going to have to adjust accordingly. Okay, so stay out of fear, doubt, insecurity. As this energy begins to build, realize that the energy is building. Don't take it personally. Aries are one of the signs that like to take everything personally when things are not going their way. So pay attention. This is this could be external forces that are putting this pressure on you. Something to do with your, your thinking, something to do with health, something to do with imagination, maybe running wild at this time, especially with this full moon, which is about a realization. So we may come to some sort of realization of what our reality and what's going on. So we need to pay attention to that. Now, on the 22nd, the sun switches signs, now goes into Virgo, the analyst, Virgo, the perfectionist. So now the energy switches, and now we're thinking a lot about our job, our responsibility, our health, and uh, we're analyzing even more because of the Virgo energy. We have two planets in Virgo, and Mercury is still retrograde. Mercury is the ruler of Virgo and Gemini. So this energy is really still in the mix, uh, very confusing or nerve wracking at the least. So let's see what it means or how it develops. Finally, Mercury goes direct on the 28th, right there, it's in stationary position, and then it'll pick up speed again, and then it'll leave Leo and go into Virgo once again, which is about analyzing. So from this point forward, it's all about analyzing information, and uh, there's a lot of worry in the picture here. So folks, I'm just giving you a heads up to pay attention to what you're doing. Last but not least, on the 29th, we have Venus going into Libra, the sign that she rules. And here she is, you know, in your seventh house of relationships. So it's all about partnerships and relationships and connecting with others and figuring things out within the dynamics of what just occurred early on in the month. And so it's going to be making a favorable alignment to Pluto. So something to do with organizations, acquaintances, and friendships are going to undergo some massive change. New people will enter your life at this time. Relationships may be, uh, personal relationships may be a little rocky. Uh, and so we've got a little bit of a volatility now with personal relationships. So here you have it, uh, Aries. This is a very tricky month, no doubt about it, for every sign. But I just showed you how this is going to affect you. Okay. So if you want to learn more about astrology, if you're interested in joining a free community or joining my inner circle, I left the link down below. You could uh, listen to this, um, you know, short video that I have after this video. So have a great month. Do the best you can. You know, remember we are spiritual beings having human experiences and uh, we'll get through all of this. You know, we're going through a massive transformation. So we'll get through all of this uh, sooner than later. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hi, thank you so much for watching my monthly astrology. I really appreciate your support over the years. Have you ever considered learning astrology? Well, you're in luck because I've created a full online astrology course in my private community. It's a full six module course that takes you from the beginning of astrology, what it all means, the mythologies, the houses, all the way to the more advanced techniques, such as progressions, solar returns, how to, how to read transits, how to make predictions. It's all there in this course here. And I even dive into some of the mysterious stuff, you know, what some of the symbolism is all about. So I think you might want to check it out if you're interested. Along with the course, we have a very tight knit community here where everyone helps each other out. And so if someone knows a lot about astrology, they help other people with astrology. So it's a community that really gets involved and, you know, really wants to learn and help each other out. But as you can see here, I have a whole lot more on this uh, private community. Uh, I also have the inner circle live calls each week. Now, this is something that I do twice a month on YouTube, but here I do them on a weekly basis. And I talk about various topics. You get to ask me questions, we interact, and we learn a whole lot more than just astrology. So this could be anything from astrology to what's going on in the world, predictions, politics, whatever it is, we talk about it in the inner circle calls. Of course, I do have videos here that I do not have on YouTube. So you get the, you get uh, those two. And then I've got a private resource vault, which has videos uh, that I suggest watching, books, suggested reading, meditations and more. So if you're interested in learning astrology or want to be part of a great community that's really growing fast, head on over to the link down below and click on the link and join today.
All right. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.